And I want to read from the scriptures. I want to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, uh, verses 3 to 11. It's a passage that I've chosen that I really believe will be an encouragement to us this morning or this evening, wherever, whatever time you're meeting. Um, and this is a passage that the Apostle Paul gives us that reminds us that God comforts us, not so that we can be comfortable, but so that we can comfort others in this season. So here it is, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are distressed, it's for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about the hardships that we suffered in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired even of life. Indeed, in our hearts, we felt the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he'll continue to deliver us, as you help us by your prayers. And then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. And this is God's word to us this morning.